How many YouTube channels give you auto reviews and waterfalls? Give it up. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the 2013 Ford Explorer. Now back in the day when you were thinking SUV, you were thinking Ford. In recent years, not so much. But with this new Explorer design, Ford is poised to get right back in the game. Why am I just standing here? Let's go take a look. Now when Ford redesigned the Explorer a couple of years back, they switched from a traditional truck-based chassis to a unibody design. The result is better fuel economy, improved handling, and more functional, usable interior space. The Explorer has two engine options, the most common being a 3.5 liter V6 that pumps out 290 horsepower and 255 foot-pounds of torque, while delivering 17 city and 23 highway MPG. Now for folks with conservation on your mind, there's a 2 liter Turbo 4 that generates 240 horsepower and 270 foot-pounds of torque, while delivering 20 highway and 28 city MPG. A front-wheel drive is standard, but there's a nice all-wheel drive option with Ford's terrain management system that lets you select or shift between preset driving modes to include hill assist and descent. All right, so I interrupt this review of the 2013 Ford Explorer for a nature break. So I've stopped off now at a waterfall along the way. Where else do you get this? Car reviews, get nature breaks, you get waterfalls. Come on. The Explorer is loaded with great safety features. Features found on much more expensive vehicles. Available options include second row seatbelt airbags, adaptive cruise control with collision warning, lane departure warning with lane keeping assist. There's also a My Key system that lets parents control the speed of the vehicle and the volume of the stereo when Junior's out cruising. Sorry, Junior. Now, if you know anything about me, you know I don't like minivans. But you have to concede the fact that they haul lots of people and lots of stuff. If hauling lots of people around is important to you, the Explorer can make it happen with seating for seven. Let's take a look. As you can see, easy enough to get back here to the third row. And I like these seats. They're nice and comfortable and contoured, very supportive. I like this high headrest here so you can lean back and kind of kick it. Now, I'm an average guy about 5'9", and I don't feel claustrophobic in here. There's decent headroom and decent leg room. I certainly think that two average size adults could kick it back here and be very comfortable. I also like this cup holder combination storage cubby that doubles as an armrest so you can kind of lean back. I'm going to have to say I'm impressed. Now, the two third row seats are nice and comfortable, and they still quick and easy once you get the hang of it. So now you have a nice, large, workable trunk space, and the second row seats fold down nice and flat as well. Just great raw cargo space and seating for seven, you can't beat it. Okay, so let's talk about what ultimately is most important to drive and experience. Now, I reviewed this vehicle back when it was released a couple of years ago, and I generally liked the vehicle, but I said that Ford needed to tighten up the steering. I felt like the car at the time sort of wandered in and out of your lane, especially out on the highway. I'm going to have to tell you that they've done a fantastic job, sort of an early mid-cycle refresh. The vehicle here is just a pleasure to drive, and it starts out really with this seat. I'm in a limited trim. It has just the most comfortable plush leather seat that you can find. Now, the driving dynamics, as I said, have been improved. Out on the highway now, the vehicle holds a straight line, and that was my primary complaint back in 2011. Now you have nice, comfortable steering, nice and responsive. You feel very confident behind the wheel. You have a nice perch, so you're high up. Now, this is a large SUV, and the vehicle really feels large, and I don't mean that in a bad way. It certainly has enough power out on the highway to make you competitive. You'll have no problems passing. It's got plenty of power when you need it. The cabin is open and airy. The dash is large, and it feels substantial. So when you're out on the highway or you're running around town, you feel like your passenger's going to be safe, and that's a good thing. So I've been driving this vehicle now out on the highway for about five hours. I'm on a long road trip, and it's really been a comfortable ride. The suspension is supple. It handles uneven road surfaces. The potholes that I've experienced has a nice plush feel to to it overall i'm gonna have to say extra thumbs up now the interior of this vehicle i'm gonna have to give a thumbs up too high quality materials there's lots of tech bling and if you've watched many of my reviews you know i like technology you have this great dynamic touchscreen display here for control of your infotainment your phone the climate it's got a great backup cam with really good low light capabilities so even at night you can see clearly what's behind you and that's a great plus so let's talk about fit and finish. It's got great fit and finish. As I said, every surface that you come in contact with is soft to the touch, looks refined, looks like a good quality component. There's different textures and colors. You've got a chrome accent here. You've got wood grain, nice supple leather in this limited model. Another thing I like, being a technology guy, you've got a digital display up here in the instrument cluster, which is very nice to have. Lots of information can be found there. You've also got great amenities like heated seats. You've got power mirrors on the side. So when you're parking or parallel parking in the city and you want to pop those mirrors in, that's one button and it collapses both mirrors, which is awesome touch to have. Keyless entry and ignition, and it's got a very modern feel to it. 
Now there is one low spot that I've experienced thus far driving the vehicle, and it's the steering wheel. The diameter of the steering wheel is, in my opinion, too narrow. Now if I own this vehicle, I'd probably have to go out and get an aftermarket steering wheel wrap. And I, I just don't like the way that looks. So I wish they would beef up the steering wheel. That would be my one pet peeve of the vehicle. But overall, I really like the Ford Explorer. It's made for a great road trip so far, nice cruising vehicle. So there you have it, another honest auto review from an average guy. If you're in the market for a large crossover SUV, you definitely need to put the Ford Explorer on your test drive list. Come on, guys, it's packed. Technology, luxury, style, power, performance, versatility. Come on, I can keep going. You got to put Ford on your list, and I'll see you next time. Car reviews, waterfalls, scenics. I mean, as far as the eye can see. Come on, how many shows? A car review, a waterfall, great scenery. Come on, work with me, guys.